Hello my friends, Danny D here from Solicitous Comics. It is September 20th, 2018, and these are my little Indiegogo gems for today. Our first one. This one is not so much someone new on the block. This is Alterna Comics. But what Alterna Comics is doing is they are giving away some... Halloween treats they're giving away a comic grab bag which includes a comic some silly putty some stickers and I think that's very interesting uh, if you do not know who Alterna Comics is by all means please go check them out over the internet they offer and depending on your age, you may not remember these, but they offer old school comics written on newsprint, which is the way I remember comics. But, let me get down here. They're going to be up for 20 days. Their goal is $8,000. They are already at $3,603. We will scroll down here to their perks. For $30, you can get a $50 comic bundle. You get 50 comics, you get silly putty, and a treat bag. And I wonder how many kids are not going to know what silly putty is. Probably quite a few. For $5, you get a treat bag, which includes Silly Putty, stickers, a random comic that they sell, and a Magic Artist pencil. Not sure what that is, but you throw in a small tiny bit of candy with that, and this kids be ecstatic. Ah, uh, for $12 you get a mug that's not so much for the kitties unless you're planning to give them coffee you can get an alternate comics hat for fifteen dollars and there are more perks as you can see going on down a lot more perks Oh, they do show what Silly Putty's for. Interesting. Okay, so that's our first one. And I'm assuming that they're going to be giving these away themselves. So that's why they have a goal. Um, they are one of two places that I know of that volunteered a bunch of comics to uh, Umbrella Guy to bring to a children's hospital to bring just a little bit of joy to some kids that were in the hospital stuck there. Uh, Alterna was one of the companies that said, yeah, we'll do that, and sent him a bunch of comics for free. And there was another company, unfortunately, I don't remember their name right off the top of my head, but kudos to both of them. All right, that's our Alterna. Happy alterna -ween. Our next one. This is called America. This is by some professional comic artists that did have this particular comic in stores, but they never finished it. Uh, in his video, he describes how it was getting a little stressful getting this to stores. And I will scroll down and show you some of the art, but what they are doing is they are basically finishing the story. The story is about a superhero who, as she ages, loses her superpowers, but she does not want to give up being a superhero. Sounds like a very interesting premise. They do not, unfortunately, show any of their art. They do show it in the video, but not, they don't show any of their art on the page here. 
but they have a bunch of fan art and I do believe this fan art is for sale if I get the chest correctly uh, there's our America and as you can see everybody that looks more like Tinkerbell everybody has their own little twist on it which I think is very cool I will scroll down I like this one this one is very very well done I love the face on this I think I might actually paint that this one's rather unique I don't know who the artist is that it reminds me of but it reminds me of some old famous dead artist that I can't think of right now and then some more you see that she's bleeding there and I mean there is all kinds of art it goes on and on there is a lot of it I'm not gonna scroll there's another one that I really like I'm not gonna scroll down all of it it would just take up way too much time so let me get up here to the goals and the perks now this comic is completed uh, so this is a print run that they are funding for they're gonna be up for a month they are looking for fifteen hundred dollars they are at two hundred and sixty five dollars so far for their perks you get the one dollar a big thank you which is basically a tip if you can't afford a graphic novel and you want to tip the artist this is the way to do it for five dollars you get a digital copy and of course a thank you which I really like again they say a lot in their video for ten dollars you get a digital novel plus let's see what's the novel plus have it says a digital copy which includes the first of appearance of underground's graduate you learn more about America's origins which is our female character here and why she is now powerless da 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 interesting and that's 10 bucks for that one for $35 you get the graphic novel which is a hundred pages it's pretty big it includes some never before seen art and you'll receive a signed copy of the first issue of the series a digital copy and a thank you Huh, interesting. That's pretty cheap for a lot. For $50, you get a thank you, the digital comic, the comic, and a variant, which I'm assuming is one of these artists' drawings, as all these were drawn to be a cover. There are more perks, by all means. Check these guys out if this interests you. This one kind of interests me. I think I may scoop this one up. It looks kind of cool. Our next one, Honey Gun. This is just an art book. Uh, this is a Canadian artist. So it is in Canadian dollars, or it says US here, but he is going to be up for a month. His goal is $500. He is at $10 so far. Now, there is no art specifically on the page, so I will scroll through some of the art that he has here. We've got our little military girl. And then we've got what looks like Little Red Riding Hood all grown up. Nope, that's not Little Red Riding Hood because she's flying something. And I don't know what that is she's flying, but 
That sure doesn't look like no BMX I've ever had. We've got... Okay, I don't know what this is. Maybe his little red riding hood got naughty. And as you see, this gentleman really likes the female form, which is fine by me because I can understand that I am kind of partial to the female form myself. That looks like something I would have seen in heavy metal. Interesting, that looks like a watercolor. I like it. His art style is varies dramatically. And I've never seen a sniper with boots like that before. Oh, wait a second. That's not a sniper. She's out of competition. Oh, yeah. That, that's the way to confuse your, uh, your opponents. Dress up like that and go to a competition for target shooting. And I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but we've got our sexy little blonde with a dude with a fish as a foot. Okay, very bizarre art, I love it. And then we have our little girl with this strange little cloud above her with some very interesting stockings. As I said, this is an art book. Um, there are several of these on Indiegogo. This is probably the third or fourth one that I've talked about. If you're interested in people's art, You've seen a sample of his art. My only critique to this is put up a video and show some of your art a little bit bigger than just what we can see here. Our next one. Ah, really guys? Okay, I know I'm gonna butcher this. Really? Okay. Sell, bust, tum, ord, the mercenary. I feel I should do this as sell, bust, tum, or torm, the, 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 the mercenary is how I feel I should be doing. If you're going to do something like that, at least put a video up and tell me how you're attempting for me to pronounce this gentleman's name and the gun's crooked. Just saying. Uh... If, or write something phonetically. Like, what the heck? Please. Like, what is this? I guess people will remember that if they learn how to pronounce it. I feel if you say that four times backwards in front of the mirror, something's going to pop out. All right. Let's scroll down to some art. Oh, I'll, obviously, he's a mercenary. Uh, it says... He's a combination of all different characters that this person likes, which includes Cyberfrog, Deadpool, Deathstroke, Spawn, and Spider-Man. Now, I know all of them except for Deathstroke. I'm not sure who that is. I'll have to look that up. All the rest of them, I... Uh, Spider-Man was okay. Uh, I was never a big, huge fan like people are, but... As for Spawn and Cyberfrog and Deadpool, yeah, those characters I like a lot. So let's see if we can find short summary of the story. Just what I'm looking for. I'm not going to bother you in attempting to say his name. He goes on an adventure to find a loved one along the way and fights interesting village vill, vi, villains ah oh, welcome again to english as a second language such as a rotten evil egg and a cherry okay i have a funny feeling that this needs to be viewed under some heavy recreational pharmaceuticals again no art except for what's up here We've got a Spider-Man type thing with a chain. I have no idea what we've got there. I guess that's the development of the character. And that 
drawing looks like it's developed even further. This sounds to me like he is a newbie. Um, more power to you, brother. Uh, but honestly, put a video up describing you and your comic. Uh, you need, you're selling this, so sell it. This ain't selling it. Okay, he's going to be up for two months. His goal is $3,000. He is at $60 so far. His first perk, for $5, you get a digital copy. His second perk, for $10, you get a graphic novel that I assume is signed. Or you get a second co I'm not sure. What's it? This is not just the graphic novel, the original cover, and the signature free of charge. Okay, you sign it free of charge. No, that's part of the perk. It's not free of charge. Okay, for 15 bucks, we get a signature and a cover. with a different cover he's got other perks in here if you're interested check them out and our last one for today this one unfortunately is going to be ending soon it is not going to go anywhere uh, not this time keep that in mind um, I mean I just I just did one and it was the third time this guy did this particular comic now it's taking off and that's the comic brand now he did two indie goggles and this is his third one this time he did it on or he did two kickstarters this time he did it on indiegogo hey what uh, indiegogo is where all the cool kids hang out put it that way because all the really cool comics seem to be here not so much on kickstarter there are some cool comics on kickstarter but not like on indiegogo uh, if you don't know if you want to know why I kind of like Indiegogo I have an older video where I explain a few things why I prefer Indiegogo anyway this was called Dark Matter this particular chapter was Rise of the Lexicons it was a basic sci-fi Braveheart is the vibe that I got from it it looked pretty cool uh, it looked like it was a battle that if you lose you get annihilated that that was the jest that I got I will thumb through some of the art as again no video no art that's bad look at what you've made and you've been up I think you were up for almost two months if I remember correctly the art looks really cool they really like playing with colors because the colors are very very vibrant and like I said uh, there's only 14 hours left on this they were looking for a goal of $600 which wasn't much they're only at $68 um, try again do a video uh, for $25 which was their first perk we get the PDF a signed floppy and a 5x7 print and something called spotlight number two which was 64 pages so it sounds like you get two graphic novels for 25 bucks that's a pretty good deal but it didn't help them you've got a one dollar tip which is what it is it's a tip a thank you saying hey I like your art can't buy your book here's a buck you know keep it up Maybe I'll buy your next one. For $5, you get a 32-page status quo shattered premiere, including you to the introducing you to the Advent Comics universe. I guess he has more than one book yes he does have more than one book for 10 you get the shattered uh advent rising comic and the dark matter 
comic, all PDF. And for $30, you get, with a regular cover, Dark Matter, Project Homeland, Zero, The Hit Squad, Zero, Advance of Evil, Number One, and The Regulators, Number One. There's a lot of stuff here and a lot of information that's not making any sense because I know of one story. The only story I know of is Dark Matter. That's the only one you spoke of. Everything else is Greek to me. And no, I do not speak Greek. I only speak a bit of Spanish, French, English, and some German. Greek I do not understand. Sorry, guys. The reason I think your indie didn't do too well is you did not present your comics well enough do a video explaining what you are offering I think that will help and by all means do it again one of the ones that I have back detective dead he's on his second one and I'm glad he's doing it because it was a good story first one wasn't great second run he's doing phenomenal and he did a video for the second one first one he did not do a video explain yourself better in the video, explain your project, explain your other books. Alright guys, as usual, all the links will be in the description below. This one's gone on a little long. And we will see you... Oh, tomorrow's Friday, so we're doing the Friday wrap-up. These will be all things that are ending very shortly, as what I usually do on Friday. And I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day.